Hello everybody, this is Jeff again, and we're going to be talking today about how to use the database Art Store. And this is going to be really fun. Art Store is a great database, different from the others. Art Store is not an article database. It is a database of art images. So let's jump in here. It's a kind of a complicated database, but boy, can it do some cool stuff. Okay, from the uh, Front Range Boulder County Campus Library homepage, we're going to go into Art Store. Okay, and to get into Art Store, you're going to need to click Go. Now, from home, you're going to be blocked access to this unless you have a username and password. Now, there isn't just a general username and password like there is for the other ones. You have to create your own, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we click Go to get in, and you're going to have to set up your username and password on campus. What you'll have to do if you want to use it from home is open it up on campus and then click on Register. You'll type in an email. It doesn't matter what email you put in, just some email. Then you type in your password. And I would recommend unclicking these things or you'll get a lot of email from them that you probably don't want. So I'm going to start this off and show you how to use this just in general without being logged on. There's a lot of cool things you can do while being logged on that you can't do if you're not logged on. But we'll just start doing a general search. So I'm going to search for images by the artist Degas. So I'm going to type that in there click go and it's going to search through its image banks and it's, it only has really great high resolution great images here so found 787 images for Degas and one thing I notice here is there are sketches there are sculptures there are paintings by this guy this guy did a lot of different kinds of things you notice there if I kinda hang on to a certain image it'll give me a preview of it there we can go in for larger versions, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But let's say I'm only interested in paintings by this artist. I can go over here and click Paintings. Okay, so that that took it down to 262. Now I'm just looking at his paintings. Now let's say I don't I don't need I could further uh, filter this, but let's say I don't need that anymore. I'm going to click here uh, Hide Filter Panel so I can see more images. Okay, so now it's filling up the space a little bit better. This is kind of neat over here. It's showing you a timeline when these images were produced. There's four images from 1848 to 1850, 12 images from 1863 to 1865. And you could, if you click on one of these, you could go just to that period of time in this artist's career. Okay, so I'm going to open up an image here. Let's just uh, click on an image there. If I double click on it, I'm going to get a bigger version of it. And to get this to be a full screen, you're going to click this little button here, Maximize Window. Okay, and we're seeing this nice image. Then there's a there's a caption down here which tells you about it. But if you want more information, you can click this I button and get all kinds of information about it. Uh, the artist's full name, the birth date, death date, uh, what nationality he was, what's the title of this, what year was it painted, how big is it, where is it housed in the real world. And to get rid of that information, I'm going to click here. Now here are some of the neat things you can do with Art Store. Um, these are some of the things it's kind of famous for. These are really high resolution images and you can focus in really closely on them. So I'm going to make sure the magnifying glass is focused there and select it and I'm going to click on here to get a little bit closer. So then it focuses in and notice up here it's focusing in to take out any blurriness. That's something most internet images when you try to get closer they blur out or pixelate. Get a little bit closer here. So we're getting close now. You notice we're getting so close we can even see the cracks in the paint. So it's kind of like you're in the actual gallery walking up close to it. Let me get closer to this eye. And notice how it keeps focusing in so that we never lose clarity. I can click on that. Let's how can we get any closer? Yeah, a little bit closer there. Now if I click on, can we go any closer? Now it's as close as we can get. So I can click on this pan tool here and we can move around at that detail level. And any time it starts to get blurry, it'll focus in. See what it's doing up there? Every time I move it around, it's going to focus in. Okay. Now to go back to regular size, I'm going to click this box. There we go. And if I click on this magnification tool again, let's say that I know that I want to look at that eye. I could draw a box around the eye, and it would take me as close as I can get to the eye. And notice how it got blurry for a second there, and then it focused in. I'm going to go back. It's also something else you could do if you would want. You can rotate this image. kind of neat. Go back to the box here. And um, let's see, let's, what's, what's the next image in our selections here? I could click this here to go to the next image. It's a very nice painting there. Okay, and I could do all the other tricks I did before. Let's look at the information about it. Let's get a close-up on that dancer there. Let's 
get even closer. How close can we get all the way up to it like that? And notice how it's focusing in. So that's what ArtStore is really known for. Now, if you'd like, a lot of people like to download these images outside of ArtStore to just download them into their own file so they can use them later. And that's fine. Just be aware that uh, when you download these images away from ArtStore, as soon as you're out of this database, you can't do all these close-ups and all these neat things I'm doing because that, that is what the database does. So it's fine to download them somewhere else. Now, these are really high-resolution images, so it takes a while to download these because it's a lot of information being downloaded. Just be aware of that. So uh, let's say I want to download this. We can do that. I'm going to download this image. I accept. You accept their terms that you're not going to do anything illegal with this. Okay. I've got an art store folder here I have set up. Now it's got kind of an unwieldy name here, but I'll just save it as that. I'll, there's some kind of complications with saving images and the names on here. Okay. So we're going to save this. Now I'll say download in progress. Um, it's going to take a while. And so this is not necessarily the way that I would use Art Store because because of this because I think it's kind of it's a little annoying how long it takes but when you've got images that are this high quality of this resolution there's just a lot of information to download so it's doing its thing right now and you get an idea of how long this takes it certainly does not happen immediately but it's try okay so when that box disappears you know you're in let me go up here to my art store file and what it did so here's the image there it is and uh, let's see what we can do here just in regular mic well I guess you can get closer to it in Microsoft that's cool so hey that's cool that's that's fine now I do notice we're starting to get blurry see that's the problem it's not it's not after we get it doesn't do that thing that art store does it can't it can't do that so it will start to get blurry after a while that's just that's the way it is. Okay, let's close this. Now, um, another thing it does, it does also in a separate file download an Internet Explorer page with all that information about it. I'm not sure if you would want that, but that that comes along with the deal. Let's go up here. Now, uh, with this image, you're probably going to want to re rename this so that it's something you can recognize. Now, when you rename it, you're going to have to put that JPG on the end, or it won't be, or your computer can't read it. So, I'm going to rename this, and I'm just going to call this Dega dancers. <clears throat> okay, are you sure you want to change it? Yep. Now when you change it, look, uh-oh, it's this horrible little icon that means we don't know what this is and it doesn't really know how to open it. So what I do whenever I change the names on these is I rename it dancers.jpg. Okay. If if you insist on downloading these images. So I don't really need that. Let me uh, delete that. Let me delete this information file. Now, another way, again, if you insist on downloading these, you can just click on here, download, and then just rename it going in. Just name it what you want to name it, but make sure you put J .jpg at the end. Degadancers.jpg. So it's going to go through its thing there. That little box disappeared, but I am pretty sure it's actually not done downloading. It's probably going to take a little bit. Let's see what this says. Is it, is it doing it? When the information file shows up, we will know that it has completed its download. And there, oh, there we go, download in progress. So I personally think that this is, and we can see it, the kilobytes filling up there. So it's not done. I'm going to show you in just a second a way to work with Art Store in a method that I think is easier and is quicker and is what, what I would recommend. But there it did download. We've got it. There you go. Okay, so. Um, let's go back in here so we got this I'm gonna close this now let's go back to just looking at our images here okay so um, we have a certain level of functionality not being signed in but only so much if I log in I can do a lot more things that I can't do right now so I'm gonna log in and I have to look up my username and password I, th I think you know, I know what it is I know it's my email There we go, and let's see if I can remember this. And we're waiting. Hey, yes, that was right. Okay, so now I can do some different things. That I, this is how I like to use Art Store. Okay, I'm going to select a few of these. Oh, also another thing you can do if you want, you can look at larger uh, view large thumbnails, and you can look at these images in a much larger way if you want to get a quicker, uh, better view of these to decide which ones you want. 
I'm going to go back right now, however, to uh, the regular, regular small thumbnails. Okay, so now that I'm signed in, I can create image groups of these. I'm going to, and I can save them to go back to them later. I'm going to choose those ones. You can choose as many as you would like. And I could put together my own little file in here. That's a nice one there. Okay, so uh, I am going to now go into the Organize button here. And I'm going to save selected images to a new image group. Now, since I'm signed in, it gives me this option. If I wasn't signed in, it wouldn't say that. So uh, I'm going to select my work folder. And there's nothing in there now. So let's see. I'm going to, what do you want to name this group? I'm going to call this the Degas folder. Create new folder. So I click on the save. So now these are in an image group. Okay, it's telling me there. Okay, the selected images were saved in a new group. Great. Now, let me see if I can go. So I'm going to open that image group. When I go to this image group now, there's some really cool things I can do with this. So now it's opening just the Degas images I told it to save. Uh, one thing I could do is I could give my presentation in class from this database. I could uh, sign in in class. And if I was going to give a presentation, I could give my whole presentation from this, using this basically as my PowerPoint. And the nice thing about it is at any point in my presentation, if I wanted to make a point about something else, I could say, boy, look at the detail on this flower. I could have that functionality that ArtStore has that regular Microsoft doesn't have. See, that's going to focus in, and I can get as close as I want and still have that kind of clarity. Another thing that is really cool is I can, let's see, select these images here. And we can, this is what's really cool. And actually, I don't think I need to select these, but look at this. I can export image group to a PowerPoint, and I can make, if I want to do a PowerPoint outside of here, I can make a PowerPoint right from here. Export image group to PowerPoint. Okay. It's telling you, you, you can't do this endlessly because it doesn't want you to, you know, they're really cautious about people trying to sell these images and make money off of them. So you can export up to 1,000 images in a 120-day period. So I've exported eight images in the last 120 days, so I'm still OK. I have 992. I'm going to submit this, and we're going to create a PowerPoint. OK, and it's creating a PowerPoint for me. And once I have this PowerPoint, I can save it and put it wherever I want, and I can use it outside of our store. And see how much quicker this is than downloading each separate image from our store and then putting them into a PowerPoint anyway, which I'm going to do anyway. Now, later, you could add other, other images to this. Now, it's going to probably ask you something like this to help protect your security. What do we want to do? I'm going to download the file. Let's open it up. And it's waiting. It's waiting to find PowerPoint. And here we go. So the first slide just says Degas, because that's what the name of the, the uh, thing was. I could change that or delete that file or whatever I want. Let me go down here to Slideshow. Let's take a look at this. So this is my, it created just a beautiful PowerPoint for me of these great images. And look how, look how great those look. And they fill up the whole screen. Now, if I would want to, I could, uh, let, me go, let me go back. Well, that's a nice image. Escape here. Let me go back to my thing here. Um, I need to, there we go. Okay, get back to where I can work with these. If I would want to, that's too big. I could still, just like a regular PowerPoint, I could make that smaller or whatever I would want. But uh, really, really nice, and it saves a lot of time. So um, that's, 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 that is the, the basics of using ArtStore. There's a lot of other neat things you can do with ArtStore. Um, but I think that kind of gives you the basics of how to use it. And um, I might create some other videos with further instructions. But I think for now, that's all we're going to cover for today on ArtStore. Thanks a lot. This is Jeff signing off.